Hey, first grade, uh, it's time for Reader's Workshop. Today for Reader's Workshop, the objective is I can compare and contrast the main idea of nonfiction texts. So before we start, let's go ahead and review some of our sight words for the week. So our new sight words this week, the first new word was the word your. Can you say your? Let's spell the word your. Y O U R. Your. Our next sight word was the word can. Can you tie your shoe? Can. Let's spell it C A N. Can. Our next sight word was the word said. My cousin said we could spend the night. Said. Let's spell it S A I D said the next sight word this week is the word no now this is not talking about the opposite of yes not like this where you shake your head not this no this no is something that you can do like i know how to write my names or i know how to speak in somali no and the last word this week is the word when, when, when are you coming to my house? When, let's just look at it over here and try to spell it. W-H-E-N, when. All right, go ahead and get your whiteboard and the marker out and let's write our spelling, our sight words, okay? Whiteboard, marker. And let's start with our first word, your. Let's write the word your in capital letters. All capital letters. Y O U R. Your. Let's write it in lowercase letters. Y O U R. Let's try to write it with curly letters, like Miss Palmer taught us how to write. Y O U R Your. And then let's write it one more time, however you want. Y O U R. What's the word? Your. Let's clear our board and go on to the next word. The next word is the word can. Let's write the word can in capital letters. C A N. Can. Let's write the word can in lowercase letters. C a N. Let's use cute curly letters. C A N. And let's write it one more time, however you want. C A N. What's the word? can. All right, you're going to go ahead and pause this video and you are going to write your spelling words, sight words, four times each. So go on with said, then no, then when. Write it in all capital letters. Write it in all lowercase letters. Write it in all curly Q letters. And then write it any way you want. Four times each. And then you can pause the video until you finish. All right, back to today's Reader's Workshop lesson. So today's objective, I can compare and contrast the main idea of two nonfiction texts. What does the word compare mean? When I say compare, what do I want you to do? I want you to talk about how they are the what? The same, right. So when you contrast, you talk about how things are what? 
different. All right. So when you compare, you see how things are the same. And when you contrast, you see how things are different. We can use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast. So the other day, you read a nonfiction story, and it was called How to Pick a Book at the Library. You also read a nonfiction book called Choosing a Book at Home. Then you told me how those two were the same. For example, in both of those, you go get a book. So that's something you could have put in the middle. Go get a book. Also, for both of them, people help you. So your mom helps you at home, or if you're at the library, the librarian help you helps you. So they were the same because people help you. But they were different because at the library, you can use your library card to check out the book. Also at the library, it said that you can um, go to the library. And when you're choosing a book at home, you don't go to the library. Now over here, when you were choosing a book at home, it says that you go to your bookshelf. And then at the end, you go to your bed to read. So that's how they were different because you go to your bookshelf at home and then you also read in your bed. So that's some things you could have put yesterday when you were working on your Venn diagram. Today I have two new nonfiction stories for you. The first nonfiction story is called All About Neptune. Hopefully by now you listened to the nonfiction read aloud that was on the First Great website. And it was about the planets. Ms. Smith loves learning about space and our solar system. And so we know that there are lots of planets, um, eight planets in our solar system, but we're just going to talk about two of them today. The first one we're going to talk about is Neptune. Can you say Neptune? So the passage is all about Neptune. It's written by Kendra Gold. Let's go ahead and listen to this story all about Neptune. Neptune is dark, cold, and very windy. It's the last of the planets in our solar system. It's more than 30 times as far from the sun as the Earth is. Neptune is made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The methane gives Neptune a blue color. Neptune has six rings, but they're very hard to see. Neptune has 13 moons. And then there's a photograph of Neptune. Now we can read this next passage. It's called All About Venus. Can you say Venus? Let's read to find out about the planet Venus. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the sun, it is still the hottest. It has thick clouds made of sulfuric acid. Venus is unusual because it spins the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. And its rotation is very slow. Venus does not have any moons. Venus is small and rocky and has volcanoes. Okay. And then there's a photograph of the planet Venus. Wow, I learned a lot about these two planets. Now I can compare and contrast the two. One thing that I learned about Neptune that was different than Venus is that Neptune has 13 moons. But how many moons did they said Venus had? Let's read here. Venus does not have any moons. So Neptune and Venus are different because Neptune has 13 moons, but Venus does not have any moons. 
So I can write that on the Venn diagram. So for all about Neptune, I'm going to say it has 13 moons. And then for all about Venus, I'll say it has zero moons. Let's find something else that was different about Neptune and Venus. Hmm, maybe about like the temperature on the planets? Let's read to find out about the temperature on both the planets. Neptune is a dark, cold, and very windy. It's the last planet in our solar system. Did you hear about the temperature on Neptune? Yeah, it's cold. Let's read to find about the temperature on Venus. Touch your nose when you hear the temperature in Venus. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the sun, it is still the hottest. Its thick clouds are made of sulfuric acid. Did you hear? It said it is the hottest. So they are different because Neptune is cold, but Venus is hot. So I can write that on the Venn diagram. So for Neptune, I'm going to say it is cold. And then for Venus, I'm going to say it is hot. All right, now that I've told two details about how they were different, now I can talk about how they are the same. I'll put that in the middle. Hmm, what was the same about Neptune and Venus? Hmm. Maybe the rings? Neptune has six rings. I don't see any rings on Venus, so no, that's not the same. Neptune is dark and very windy. Did it say that it was dark and windy in Venus? No. Hmm. Oh, I know. Neptune is a planet, right? And Venus is a planet. So they are both planets. So we don't have time to find another way that these two planets are the same. But it's your turn now. You are going to go on to Seesaw and do a quick check today. So today you are going to read two passages. The first passage is called Community Workers. It's written by Gretchen Smith. Read the story Community Workers. A couple of words you might not know. This first word, this is a compound word. It's the word firefighters. The second passage you're going to read is called School Community. A word you might not know is the word librarians. A librarian is a person who works in a library. And then the other word you might not know is principles. All right. So you're going to read these two nonfiction stories, and then you are going to fill out a Venn diagram to compare and contrast the main idea of the two texts. Make sure you tell me two details about the story Community Workers. Tell me two details about school community. Then tell me two details about how the passages are the same. Remember, today's activity is a quick check. You should be doing this activity by yourself. Your parents can help you spell a word and you can listen to Miss Smith read the story, but you should be coming up with the answers in the diagram by yourself. All right, first grade, I cannot wait to see your work on the quick check. Make sure you practice your sight words tomorrow, and I'll see you later. Bye.